testing Nazi shit and doing World War II jobs. Blow, Bad blowing bridges, shooting tanks. You just know. general badass yeah. Yeah. of all kinds. And we have jumped right into, this is not B-roll footage, this is live it. gameplay. Yeah, so we have a couple of people playing from our booth. And uh, yeah, they're not much stealth going on, so they basically started shooting. They're going right in. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what kind of uh, what can you tell us uh, about uh, the game mode we're looking at, or, or yeah, what do so we see? Yeah, uh, we're gonna see a short demo here that we made for E3. They're basically going to take down this uh, flag tower. Okay. So what they're gonna do is uh, get inside by explosives, of course. How else? Uh, they're going to uh, take out all the aircraft guns because they it's very well protected. Sure. Uh, they're going to put all the searchlights up onto the tower so that the allied airplanes can see the tower and then they will blow it to smithereens while you parachute off the tower. Gotcha. So like this is one of the various missions I'm sure you can take on yeah. in, within the game. It's, it, it, it is. Okay. Uh, can you tell us maybe like a little bit about like uh, some of the other uh, mission types? Well, there's a uh, little bit of everything. You blow the bridge. Okay. Make sure there's a train on the bridge while you blow it to get some extra gold. Nice. Yeah. Uh, we sort of uh, tried to tell the story of what happened to the Ember Room. Oh, okay. There's uh, uh, train robberies. There's there's a little bit of everything, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Mix yeah. it up. Mix it up. Yeah. yeah. I noticed in the trailer there, you know, you definitely kind of get into a sense of not like supernatural, but, you know, like you had the Nazis with like the face masks yeah. on. So it's kind of like a, a, a hyper-realistic uh, retelling of what <laughs> what might have happened. Super stylized. Like an alternate telling of what uh, happened in World War II. Well, we want to be a bit different. I mean, we always say it's not Band of uh, Brothers, but it's like Kelly's Heroes or it's uh, the Inglorious Bastards. Oh, sure, nice. yeah. It's more of the badass like part of, 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 of the spectrum. Over the top, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm looking, I'm seeing this guy's rocking the shotgun. Now, at the beginning, do you all choose your, your setup, your loadout, or what kind of equipment, what different things are we going to be seeing for each character? Yeah, so we have four classes, um, and then depending on the class, that's the kind of weapon you have. So this guy is playing the Demolition Man. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, there's a flame. Watch out. Right. <laughs> yeah, you don't want it. Uh, so up. he has the Ooh. shotgun. So the, the, a couple of the weapons are locked to each That guy's gun. toast. Yeah. Oh, they got him. Yeah. Nice. So you were talking about the, the classes. Can you tell us a little bit more about Yeah, this? so we, we focused a little more on the classes. Uh, it's, it's very... Uh, the classes are what make uh, your character. So you can have multiple profiles, you level up multiple characters, uh, and you sort of want to synergize with your friends. So sure. you don't want right. to have four snipers going into you know, right. to, to this tower. Uh, even skills uh, in the skill trees that then buff the other players, so the more you mix and match, yeah. the, the, the better you, you'll be off. Now, if you wanted to go four snipers, and you guys were all just uh, excellent no-scopers, well, if you, you could do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just no-scopers only? Of course. Okay, there we go. So you have the you option. You might not succeed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we wouldn't really recommend it, but <laughs> if you're that crazy. <laughs> right. Or stupid. <laughs> Pretty much well, stupid. I, I wouldn't say stupid. I would say... No, I would. Yeah. Ball ballsy. Ball there yeah, okay. Ball there you go. Yeah, there you go. Walk like a thin, fine line there. Cocky. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Boom. Now they've, they've, they've made their way in. They have made their way in. The explosion from the doors fucked up the elevator a little yeah. bit, so they're going to fix it, and they will uh, send these flak shells up to the tower and then use them against the Nazis themselves. Nice. So they will use these flak shells. They'll put them onto the AA guns because they're quite big, and then uh, make sure they explode together with the gun. Very cool. And so I'm, I'm guessing, like, the overall goal in the game seems to be, you know, uh, you know, complete the missions, but also try and acquire as much of that Nazi gold uh, as you the, can. Yeah, there's the, the, the greed part of it. So, I mean, in, in, in essence, you do something World War II y, you do a job, you, I mean, here we're about to fuck up a flag tower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then there's this, you know, you might find a, a secret room that's mm -hmm. not there every time. There might be a train, there's loaded with gold, or there's a okay. shipment of, you know, Hitler's famous paintings or something, sure. and then it's that greed that drives them to... to, to very cool. So there's some randomized elements to, to missions as well. Yeah. Oh, very cool. So, uh, Do you have like certain characters you need to do specific things to accomplish those objectives? Like, is there, is there something that only the demo guy can do? Yes. Oh, cool. Uh, nice. So you like, get over here. Like, yeah. Where are you? Yes. <laughs> and then you, you'll have to help him out. And it's all about the synergy. Sure. So four player co-op, and we really want to push, push the, the you know, team play and make sure that you have fun with your friends. That's sure. it. That's what it's about. So speaking about the co-op, um, can you tell us just a little bit about like the story, like the general, like why are these four dudes, you know, 
going in and taking out like all these Nazi encampments. Yeah, absolutely. So it's uh, there's this woman called Mrs. White. Uh, she's on the Allied side, and they are uh, having a bit of trouble with the war. Um, so she gets together this group of four badasses. That's a good word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. I, I see. Wait, I, uh, I knew you were going to say that. That Sorry, have been man sentenced thing. to death for something they might or have, might have not done. Yeah. It's the nationalities of the Russian, and there's a German, there's an American, and there's a British. So they all have their uh, different story that we will tell. Okay. Sounds like the opening of a joke. It's like, yeah, uh, there's a British American guy walks into a bar. Walk a German, bar, yeah, yeah. walk to a Nazi camp. And <laughs> pull the hell out of everything. <laughs> So they're basically sent, sent in to do the things that regular soldiers just won't handle. Right. Um, and the price they get is like, okay, you win the war for us, you help us out with all of this, you will get free. What this means is it's oh. for the greater good. Yeah. So you might, might, I say might, uh, do a yeah. job for, uh, for the Nazis or for the German that maybe... Because for the greater good, this will still be okay with the ally. Oh, wow. Interesting. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's you hinted at something uh, there. I like how you didn't give it totally away. You might. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. There we go. Hold a little bit back. Yeah. Still, it, but it would be mysterious as to why you are, you know, yeah. helping out the, uh, the Nazis in that way. Kind of like playing both sides, I'm sure. Like double agent shit. Sort of. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, okay. okay. You yeah. want to make like sure that. the war goes good. And then some things, um, the greater good. Sure. Yeah. I like how non-committal you are. Yeah. Like, Maybe. Nah. It might be what happened. Uh, well, I love and the there's premise. one of the AA shells blown, blown up. So they're doing pretty good. They're about to, to finish up the searchlight objectives. Nice. Was that a health kit right That's there? That's a health kit, so we can pick up ammo, and we have a loot system uh, where you can find, you know, refreshments, uh, as you call them. So you can fill up on grenades and ammo and all of that stuff. Again, with the co-op thing, so... Different classes will get more. Different classes don't need as much. You have to like, yeah. hey, there's a big health here. Might you you should probably take it because I'm fine now. And so with within the game, uh, I'm sure are there uh, like some different game modes? Like, is there like, kind of like a story campaign that? Uh yeah. So I mean, there will be. Uh, I can't go into too much into it. At the sure, point, sure, absolutely. But there there will be some sort of story arcs that eventually will tie together okay. to something bigger and then forward. But yeah, you will have a narrative that you play through, and then you can sort of decide on, on, on how that narrative moves forward. Very cool. So it looks like, uh, how many spotlights? Because you said they, they were, I think, yeah, four? Yeah, all of them. So what they need to do now is put the... Um, they got to get out of there. Flare. Yeah, they, they need to light a flare to tell the allies that they're all, all good. Get ready to go. Oh, uh -oh. Ah, that uh -oh. guy got fired. Going red. Ooh. Code red. Code red. Now, is there like uh, different difficulties, or is there yeah. you know so very hard mode? The A3 demo that we are showing is uh, on easy mode. I would say it's very very like easy. Just mode? We yeah. Don't see. yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't want people to come to a booth and you know just keep dying. Yeah. Right, 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 right. And it's also a very very short version of this level, so it's like a compact. Uh, okay. It's a uh, little injection of yeah. What oh, okay. The game. Taste of it. So when you're yeah. when you're actually jumping into the game, like the missions are not going to be over like this quickly. Like no, no. So this is just a, a segment of it. And you will also have to yeah. travel to the missions and you know from your camp. So you, when you start the game, we don't have a traditional menu. We have like you're in your camp and you have your stolen shit in one side, and you have the server browser, which is your radio station. Sure. Um, I, I love I love hearing that that there's uh, you know much more to the game than just like you know getting kind of zoned into a mission area, you know, completing the mission. Yeah, 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 there's just a lot more to it than that. That's so basically, cool. I mean, when you jump off this tower, you have to, you know, fight on the ground and then get to the truck and then take you to your camp and then secure it and then get your loot that you get for winning. It's like full, <laughs> full <laughs> experience, yeah, yeah. full immersive more, yeah. experience. I was seeing some quick chat, so obviously there is a you, want, you want to be able to get on the mic and talk and coordinate, yeah. but... There's always the one friend who's like, eh, my mic doesn't work or whatever. <laughs> yeah, my mom. There's always me. one friend. Yeah. Mom told yeah. me to be quiet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they can still oh, participate and call stuff out. And Absolutely, yeah. And you can also use the characters' in-game voices to do that by quickly pressing F. So basically, they started bombing the tower while we were chatting. And oh, now so they changed uh, so the they objective. Yeah, so now they oh. got some cool. parachutes. They will drop. That's cool. They will run oh. out. And that's the quick demo that we have for you. That was awesome. Great job. Yeah. Nice break. Second World War. <laughs> yeah, there you, go. you got the Nazi cool. goal. <laughs> it's 
Häusern. Haben Sie mitgenommen? Zehn Kisten mit Goldbarren. Wie kann es dann sein, dass vier dahergelaufene Kriminelle nicht nur unerkannt hier reinkommen, sondern auch noch Dutzende speziell ausgebildete Soldaten einfach eliminieren? Zuerst sah es so aus, als ob es mehr als vier wären. Ich dachte, wir würden von den Russen eingenommen. Wir, wir haben keinen Alarm der Wachen gehört. Nur laute Schießerei aus dem Innern des Gebäudes. Auszugehen, erkannte ich erst, was los war. Vier Männer trugen Kisten aus den Waggons. Leblose Körper überall. Alle tot, nur du nicht. Warum? Diese Ladung soll der Stolz der SS sein. Wissen Sie, was wir hier auf dem Stützpunkt haben? Wissen Sie, was wir hier auf dem Stützpunkt haben?